this video will probably get taken down, but oh well. Over the last few weeks, my family and I have been watching the hit TV show LEGO Masters on Channel 9. The show pits eight teams of two against each other in a series of LEGO challenges for the chance to win $100,000. Of course, the show is just a blatant promotion of the LEGO brand, but that's fine. I've got nothing against that. However, one thing I do question is the judging. There is a lone judge who goes by the name Brickman. He's apparently the only LEGO certified professional in the Southern Hemisphere. I've got nothing against him. I'm sure he knows his stuff. But on LEGO Masters, he is the judge, jury, and executioner. He has the power to send teams home when they fail at a challenge. Or at least, that's what the show's producers would have us believe. So my criticism of the judging is threefold. One, there is only a single judge. Ultimately, the judgment is in his hands. If he likes a build or doesn't like a build, that's completely up to him. It's completely subjective. He decides whether somebody goes or stays in the competition to potentially win the $100,000. But I understand even if there were three judges, the competition could still be rigged. So that leads me on to my next point. 2. The producers have the final say. Call me cynical, but I can't believe for a second that Brickman has the final say. Ultimately, the producers, Endemol Shine Australia, are responsible for the show's success. They have to appease their sponsors, i.e. LEGO, as well as make sure the show gets lots of ratings. A few times on the show, we saw Brickman walking away to think about his decision. No doubt he went off to talk with the producers. If the producers want a particular team to go through, they'll go through. Through. Of course, I have no evidence of this, as I can't track down the judging criteria. I don't think it would be made public anyway. But it should be. We're supposed to be living in a democracy after all. However, I did find the applicant's terms and conditions. It's all the normal legal mumbo-jumbo, but one point stands out. You agree that the producer may disqualify you at any time from participation in any stage of the application process without providing any reason. There's also a clause stating that you must sign a separate participants agreement if you are selected to go on the show, an agreement that isn't made publicly available, of course. I assume all the judging criteria are contained within. Unsurprisingly, there's also the confidentiality agreement stating that all matters concerning the program are kept absolutely confidential. In other words, you can't go blabbing to the media about anything that goes on in the show unless you want to be sued. But the biggest reason why I think LEGO Masters is rigged is… 3. The Final Challenge I'm not saying that the best team didn't win, just that the judging procedure was completely rigged. 250 members of the public were allowed to enter, and each had a single vote to choose which of the three models they would like to see win. Obviously, in such a big crowd, there's going to be a fairly even distribution of votes. Just for an extreme example, however, imagine the 250 votes were distributed as follows. 140, 50, and 60. Obviously, in this situation, the first model would win. However, there was a bit of a voting twist. Brickman was given a special golden brick which allowed him to cast 100 votes to the model of his choice. So as you can see in my example, no matter where Brickman places his 100 points, the team that he choose will win. It didn't matter how the 250 members of the public voted. Of course, you could imagine a situation where it would matter, but I don't think that's very realistic. To be fair, I don't even think my distribution is very realistic. The numbers are probably going to be a lot closer, as I would assume that there would be a fairly even number of people who like each model. The biggest problem, however, is that the show never revealed the voting results. Obviously, the producers have something to hide. I think I'm right in saying that whoever Brickman chose was going to win. And if you believe what I said in point two, then ultimately, the producers chose the winner. Democracy be damned. So to answer the initial question, is LEGO Masters rigged? Of course! But I suspect none of you believed otherwise. Mm. 